Hey guys, so this came up in a conversation that I was having with my cousin over lunch yesterday and it's basically that people take what you give them. Like, people will take what you give. So, if you feel like, if you ever feel like you're being taken advantage of or just like the dynamic within your relationship is off, you feel like you're giving more, whether it's a friendship or any other kind of relationship, just remember that people only take what you give them. Similar to the saying that people only do what you allow. People will only take what you give. So if you feel like people are taking advantage of you, consider the fact that you might be giving more than you're comfortable with giving and check yourself and give less or give what you feel comfortable giving because if you just keep giving and giving and giving then don't be surprised when people just keep taking and taking and taking and this is a type of boundary that you have with yourself okay so how does this show up in real life right i'll speak for myself something that can really end up draining my energy is listening to too much like venting and like drama from other people's lives like i feel like there's a time and place for venting and yes it's important to like let people know what's going on in your life and that's the whole point of relationships and connection is that we share our experiences yes i totally understand but like there is such thing as like toxic venting <clears throat> and it's basically like letting yourself be a lending ear to the point where you're letting yourself get drained and I've this has happened to me many times but the whole thing that I've learned is that people will only take what you give so if you stand there and someone this is what always happens to me actually if you stand there and you just let somebody like talk to you and take up your time complaining about their life complaining about xyz for however long and at the end of it you're feeling like your energy is lower and like you got to take a nap or something and you're tired because you just stood there and like listened to this endless list of complaints from this person you might have given too much of your time and you allowed them to take it so for example for me next time i'm in that situation i was actually journaling, journaling about it this morning I will excuse myself or if I can't get out of that situation, I will change the topic because that is now a new boundary that I have to have with myself because that for me feels like it's draining my energy and people will only take what you give. So if I can, if I only give maybe like five, 10 minutes into listening to someone's drama and, and like their, their stories and like their, you know, whatever the, the case may be, then they will only take that. But if I give an hour of my time during my work day, true story, then they will take that hour or more if I don't excuse myself. So that's how boundaries tend to go in real life. Like that's how they look like in real life. People only take what you give. Okay, dating. Men will only take what you give. Women will only take what you give. So if you're overgiving, that's your responsibility to then give less if, if you felt like you did too much in the next encounter with that person. Um, ladies, we all know how that shows up, you know? Like, I don't have to go into detail there, but they only take what you give. So check yourself, have a conversation with yourself about what you feel comfortable giving, what you do not, what it takes to feel comfortable giving and move accordingly and sometimes i feel like don't beat yourself up if it's a trial and error process and there are times that you're successful at setting boundaries with yourself and there's times that you're not because sometimes that's the way that we learn and there's no shame in in the game of like inner work and self-growth but i feel like this concept is really important and it's really helpful for me to just understand that especially if you're coming from a background of like people pleasing and dorm and being a doormat and just you know overly indulging in being a victim like it's not in, like you want to get to a more empowered place and you have 
accountability and agency over your life. Nobody else does, only you. You are in control of your energy, of your time, of what you give your attention, which is also your energy too. So just be wary of that and understand that people will take what you give. And if you give too much, if you do more than you're comfortable with, if you feel like you, you just, you know, if you're feeling unappreciated, these are signs that you have been overgiving. If you're feeling overappreciated, if you feel like you do so much, nobody, like people take advantage of it. If you feel tired from doing so much, if you feel like drained, these can be signs that you're overgiving. So just remember that. And, you know, I feel like it's really empowering to understand that you are in control of your life. You're in control of where, who you give your time to, what you spend your time on. And, you know, your energy is your responsibility. So do what you need to do to protect it. And, yeah, it's all an inner conversation. And it's, it's nothing to do with other people at the end of the day. So...